OK, so I'll go back through this again. So now what I'm going to have, Cody, is remember we talked about factoring polynomials, or talk fa factoring monomials. And what we did was we broke it down into a product of its primes. We wrote it down into x times x times x, or we took a number and we broke it down into its prime, prime numbers. Okay. So right now what we have is x squared minus 5x equals 0. All right? And what we want to do is we want to factor this. Now the next type of factoring we looked at is factoring by using distributive property. Okay? So what we did was we took the, found the GCF of our terms and we factored it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this, but we're going to add an extra step because they're actually asking us to solve. So what we do is we have x squared minus 5x. All right? And what we're going to do is, if you guys look at it, is first thing we need to find the GCF. So we look at our two terms and see what do they share. And you could say that they both share a x. So we could say the GCF equals x. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both of our terms by x. And what we have is x minus 5. Then what we do is we're going to take that and multiply it by our GCF. So we have x equals, or x times x minus 5 equals 0. So we worked on doing that, right? When it, without the equal sign and 0 over there, right? So now what we're going to do is what we call applying the zero product property. Cody, right? And applying the zero product property, if you guys remember, stated that if you have two numbers that multiply to give you 0, that means one of them has to go and equal 0. So what we do is we take both of our terms, or both of our factors, and we set them equal to 0. Because remember, when I say solve, that means I want to find the value of x that makes the equation true. So therefore, I'm going to have x equals 0 and x minus 5 equals 0. Therefore, when solving, I get x equals 0, add 5 to the other side, and I get x equals a positive 5. Therefore, the solution for x, the value of x that makes both these equations true, where are x equals 0 and x equals 5. Chase, questions? No? So that's what you guys had to do for um, 26 through 30 on those.